What's up guys, this is Jeff and today I want to talk about the forks. Of course, not forks for eating or silverware. I want to talk about bike forks and its problem. When you buy a bike during installation, you will see that the tire doesn't fit inside the fork. And sometimes the fork is bent due to an accident. Today I want to show you how you can solve the problem of bike forks in the easiest way. Forks can have problem in two ways. In the first case, the fork has moved to inside of the bike frame or outside of the bike. And sometimes both arms of the bike are bent to the left or right side. It is rare that it happens when the bike is cheap and more often when the rider hits an obstacle and causes the fork to tilt. The second case is that due to impact or pressure, the opening of the fork is narrowed and the tire doesn't fit inside the fork. Generally, factories try to prevent them from bending by putting a piece of plastic in the end of the fork, but the plastic breaks due to impact and the fork bends. In some new models, iron is used instead of plastic to prevent the fork bending. Another problem with the fork is the bending of the axle holder of the front wheel of the bike inwards. This case is also rare and I've only seen a few cases over the past few years, but sometimes it can happen when shipping a bike. To fix it, there are a few ways you can do it. The best thing is to use an iron file to widen it. A little of bike paint will be removed, but you can cover it later with a little paint or grease so that it doesn't rust. If the groove of the fork is not too small, you can turn the bike upside down and use a hammer to insert the axle in its place by hitting the inner nut. Be careful not to hit the thread of the axle because you will have a problem to tighten it the screw. In my opinion, the iron file is the best. Now, if the opening of the fork was closed, how you can open it? First, you should check the fork. Has the axle holder been hit or the fork arm? As I said, it rarely happened that the axle holder is bent and most of the fork arm is bent. Then, check which side of fork arm is bent. In the first case, if the opening of the fork is slightly closed, you can open it by pulling the two arms of the fork outward and placing it on the axle of the front wheel. But if this is difficult and the opening was too close, you should use a hammer to open it. If the axle support of the front wheel was tilted, you should hit it gently to make it straight. Otherwise, you should only hit the fork arm. The best tool is a rubber hammer because it doesn't damage the color of the bike. But if you only have a metal or plastic hammer, the situation is different because they can damage the color of the bike. Lift the fork and gently tap the bent arm with the mallet. Depending on how much the fork arm is bent, hit less or more times. To use a metal or plastic hammer, first cover the part you want to heat with the foam sent by the bike or fabric or plastic. You can use a white tape to hold it. Do this several times until the wheel fits into the fork.
After placing the axle tire inside the fork, install the retaining washer and nut, align the tire in the middle of the fork and tighten the nut. If the fork was tilted inward or outward, most of the time it will be bent from the top of the fork, which is better to change the fork for safety because if you even try to straighten the fork, it might break in the bent area. If you want to straighten or replace the fork, there are two nuts and a washer in the upper part of the frame that you have to open and then straighten or replace the fork. In most models, the fork are open in the same way as shown, and in some models, it is enough to separate the handlebar and the fork will be released. To open, First remove the handlebar, Then open the top nut with the wise grip or any other tool. You can use a foam or fabric so that the paint of the screw is not damaged. After removing the first knot, remove the washer. The washer has a ridge on the inside that must be in place on the fork row during installation. Open the second knot and remember that its raised part is facing down. There are two bearings at the top and bottom of the frame tube. One side of bearing is flat and without balls and the other side has balls that are placed in the hollow part in the tube. Both bearings are the same size and shape, so there is no problem if they are changed. You just need to know that the flat size is facing up in the upper part and the flat side is facing down in the lower part of the tube. If you need to buy a fork the size of the fork road and the length of the fork should be exactly the same and don't forget the color also and the size of the bike will also help you when buying. 
After opening the fork, fix it with the press or hammer. The best thing is to hit the bent area a little so that it doesn't break during straightening. But again, the safest way is to buy a new fork for this kind of bending. To reinstall, first place the bottom bearing on the fork road so that the flat part of the bearing is facing down. Put the fork road inside the tube and then put the upper side bearing in a position where its flat part is facing up. Install the first nut with the raised part facing down and be careful not to tighten too much. Tighten the nut until the fork doesn't lose and move easily. Move the fork a few times to make sure it's work. If you feel that the fork doesn't move or moves with difficulty, loosen the nut a little and try it again. Regardless of its direction, put the washer in place so that its edge is in line with the fork row. And then tighten the top knot until you feel that the knot is tightened. Determine the height of the handlebar and align it with the tire and install it. The next videos that will be released soon are about how to change the tire and tube of all type of bikes, brake adjustment all models, fix wheel wrapping, adjusting gearbox and installing new brakes. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications to be the first to know about our new videos. I've many ideas that I want to share with you, but I need your support. Starting today, you can become a member of the channel and use its facility in addition to the support of the channel. I hope this video was useful for you. Remember that our journey in this life is short, so whenever a problem arises for you, just remind yourself that my journey is short and it's not worth the trouble. Forgive others and yourself and live in peace. Until next video. See ya.